Hey everyone, this is a clip from a recent episode of the Men of Steel podcast, where we talk about Superman and Superman adjacent topics. If you enjoy this clip, check out the podcast. You can find it at certainpov.com or wherever you get your shows. So I actually have the trade from when it was first, the, the, when the trade was first released in the late 90s, uh, which is here in my hand. I have it actually in multiple forms, but uh, the one I treasure is the original trade because this was released in commemoration of the author's passing. Uh, Mark Runewald, who had been a longtime Marvel writer and editor, did the series in the 80s, but for the most part was known for uh, being an editor, supposedly just one of the nicest guys at Marvel. Uh, and when he passed, it was decided that this huge work that honestly gets overshadowed by stuff that comes right after it in the comics world, and we'll talk about that in a second, um, it, it's overshadowed by that, but it's very influential and very much a part of the sort of wave of socially conscious um, superhero comics that like really try to explore what the ramifications of superpowers would be on the real world. Um, and so I thought, hey, let's collect this into a trade, have a forward by Mark Wade, uh, who was Mark Runewald's best friend. And like they would just, you know, riff about Justice League stuff all all the time together. And, you know, it's it seems like a really lovely friendship. Um, and that so, anecdote by Mark Wade was in my uh, version of the trade where he talks about Talking about yeah, I imagine has Green the same Lantern, forward. Flash, etc. <laughs> yeah, but so the original printing uh, for the, for the trade paperback, they decided to cremate Mark Grunewald's and then use his ashes in the ink of the comic. <laughs> Wait, what? What? Yeah. Yes. What? <laughs> <laughs> J. Mike, I have ho I have kept that from you until this moment. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so I am holding a dead man right now. <laughs> yeah. What yeah. The my. Heck? My, my, yeah, my trade has the, I think has the similar foreword by his wife. And then there's a little asterisk at the end that says, editor's note, this collection contains no ashes. Right. Yeah. It's, <laughs> and I mean, honestly, like the, the amount is like such a minuscule, like degree, like, you know, they just like sprinkled his ashes into the big printer's ink. Uh, it's like, it's like when, it's like when Kiss donated their blood. So, and mixed it with the red ink at Marvel comics to make their Kiss comic. Oh God, those those books back in the nineties. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but uh, yeah, no, Jay Mike. That... <laughs> I'm sorry. What, what? What? This went on a tangent really quickly. There is ashes in that comic, and Kiss puts yes. their blood in the red ink of the. Yeah, and yeah, the yes. and the issue where Kiss became superheroes and fought Mephisto and Doctor Doom. You know, cocaine's a hell of a drug. But the nineties <laughs> were crazy. <laughs> the eighties and nineties were a crazy time. <laughs> Yeah. Remember, if you like the clip after you're done liking and subscribing, check out certainpov.com where you can find more episodes of the show as well as a ton of other great shows.